Hey everybody, we're Kevin Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Friday afternoon, February the 10th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for race 8 on their card, 346 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Mile 70 yard test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track, 4 year olds and up race for a starter allowance prize of some $55,000. Contenders number 3, Jones Choice. Number four, Seniors Pride. Number three, He's So Chic. And number two, Indy Scent. Number three, Jones Choice qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Will enjoy a commanding speed advantage on this field. Is the pace profile leader in this field, racing at or about today's distance of 8.3 furlongs. That's a mile. 70 yards on the dirt. He's hit the board in power run fashion in four straight, including back to back to back power run wins in his last three starts. Number four, Seniors Pride, comes off a power run place finish in his last start. Goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of Cornelio Velasquez and Todd Pledger. In his corner, they've hit the board with 63% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Race 8 summary, number three, Jones Choice, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number four, Seniors Pride. Number six, He's So Chic, and number two, in Descent. 3-4, 6-2 in the 8th from Aqueduct. Gulfstream Park, race number 7, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a 5 furlong sprint on the turf. Four-year-olds and up race for an optional claiming purse of some $53,500. Contenders number 2, Marquette Cat. Number 6, Silver Timber. Number 8, Cat Thief. And number 9, that's a giant. Number two, Marquette Cat takes a class drop of nine track master units this afternoon. Is the uh, uh, overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, sprinting at today's distance of five furlongs on the turf. Has produced power runs in five straight, hitting board in four of those efforts, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Jose Lescano and trainer Jason Service sent into the post today. They fit the board with 58% of their entry saddles and team to date. Number six, Silver Timber, a five to one shot, has also hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five respective starts, including a power run win in his fifth race back. Race seven summary, number two, Marquette Cat tops the contenders list today, which also includes number six, Silver Timber, number eight, Cat Thief, and number nine, Matt's a Giant. Two, that's two, six, eight, nine in the seventh today from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Charlestown. Race number six, entry number seven, run run with Rachel at eight to one in the morning line, takes a class drop of four units, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at or about tonight's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Penn National Race Course, and race number two, entry number two, born to cuss, four to one in the morning line, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, including power run wins in both his second and fourth races back which, of course, folks, is indicative of a bounce pattern, and the bounce tonight will be up positive if this pattern continues. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream on a Friday repeated for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you, as always, to please bet with your head, not over it.